So we're now going to look at some examples of proof by induction uh, for sequences. And we're going to start off with this one here. A sequence is defined by un plus 1, so the next term is 1 take away 2 lots of the previous term, where u1 is 2. So this is our inductive definition. Prove that un is a third of 1 plus 5 lots of minus 2 to the n minus 1. Okay, so this is the nth term of the sequence. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do, so step one, is prove true for n equals 1. Okay, so we start off with this step. So u1 is equal to 1 third of 1 plus 5 lots of minus 2 to the 1 take away 1. Okay, so we have uh, minus 2 to the 0, which is 1, times by 5. So we've got 1 third of 1 plus 5, so 1 third times 6, which is equal to 2. So it is true for um, n equals 1. Okay, as identified there. So stage 2, uh, we assume that it's true for n equals k. So we would be saying that uk is equal to 1 third 1 plus 5 lots of minus 2 to the k minus 1. So stage 3, we're going to prove that it's true for n equals k plus 1. OK, so let's think about where we need to get to here, right? So our target is for me to be able to substitute um, in k plus 1 into this to get uk plus 1 is 1 third 1 plus 5 lots of minus 2 to the k plus 1, take away 1, so to the k. So this is what I'm looking to achieve. OK? So if we go back here then. So uk plus 1 is equal to 1 take away 2 lots of uk. Now remember, uk is 1 third this. So 1 third, so let's have it as times one third of one plus five lots of minus two to the k minus one. So the idea then is that we can write this as this. Okay, that would be what we would want to get to. So what have we got? So I'm going to multiply this through. Um, well, Maybe not actually. Let's because I know what I need to get to. I need the one third factor out. So could I bring one third out as a factor at the start? That'd probably be a better shout. Because I know that one third times three will make the one. And I'm gonna have take away two lots of the one plus five minus two to the k minus one. Okay. Right. Uh, with an extra bracket there. So we've got the one third. Right, let's multiply through now. So we've got three, take away two, and then minus two is going to multiply with five lots of minus two to the k minus one. So that's minus two to the one, and so I'm going to get uh, plus five lots of minus two to the k. So I've got one third of one plus five lots of minus two to the k which is precisely what I wanted, OK? So I can see that I've arrived at the same thing that I was targeting, and that has proved it, OK? So, as, uh, as it is true for n equals 1, and if true for n equals k, then it is true 
for n equals k plus 1. OK, so we showed that it was true for n equals 1. We assumed it was true for n equals k, and we showed if that was true, then it's true for n equals k plus 1. So it is true for all n greater than or equal to 1. OK, and that proves uh, the desired result.